All we know Mae is Dell from Dream Doors, who are one of our fantastic clients. But after managing to do what most of us would love to do, that's write that book that we have inside of us, we can now welcome to the cafe author Derek Lilly. Welcome, welcome. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, so by day, you are the CEO of kitchen facelift company Dream Doors. Correct. But by night, slaving over the typewriter. This is how I like to envision you anyway, but in this day and age, it would be a laptop. Yep. Writing your first novel. I mean, how long did it take you? About four months. Gosh, that seems quick. Yeah, it, it's, and that was part time. Wow. I had the story in my head and I just had to put it down. Wow. OK, well, speaking of the story, what is Invasion AI all about? Well, it's uh, artificial intelligence and um, how a young astrophysicist uh, comes into contact with a foreign object. OK, um, there's aliens in the book, isn't there? Yeah. I like the way you're hedging around the fact that there's aliens in the book. Uh, but the thing about this is that it's all set in New Zealand as well. Absolutely. It's the storyline set predominantly in New Zealand. Little few places, America, Marianas Trench. It's a, it's a ripping yarn. And what so. inspired this yarn, Derek? Well, the, there was a storyline that, that on the front of the cover you'll see an a orange, a orange ball. That mm -hmm. actually happened, a bit of a glowing light and across the Mount Pisa Range in Monaco, as you Beautiful well know. Beautiful spot, yes. And my, my daughter and I, we saw something in the, and it just stuck in my mind. We didn't know what it was and we still don't know to this day, but it's, it was very different. I'm an ex-soldier, so I notice things. OK, so how do yeah. you take how do you take that vision and then create the this beautiful story yeah. around it? Well, it, it's, it, it's just something, I used to write songs when I was younger. OK. So kind of writing is not hard for me, but uh, well, I found it quite easy when I actually started doing it. Yeah, you obviously got that creative that creative yeah. gene. It's funny because I go for walks, walks with my kids and we send the same thing. We make up these incredible stories, stories. in our heads. We should get them down on paper. Write them down. Um, how much research was involved? Because uh, you've got a lot huge. of artificial intelligence yeah, in here. Huge, huge. Google, Wikipedia, I make acknowledgements in the book to it. But yeah, the, the amount of information people say, where did you know that? So if you want me on a quiz team, I'm pretty good. Excellent. And is it about, from what I gather, is it about sort of the implications of artificial intelligence in our futuristic yeah, world? Absolutely, right. yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we all use artificial intelligence today on our on our oh, iPhones. Yes, we're true, we, we have do. Siri for whatever. Well, and we tells do. Us. And I mm. sat on my phone before and it started talking to me. me. Siri oh, yeah. started talking to me. So you know, she gets you in all ways. So it's <laughs> so it's a look twenty. It's set between now 2017, 2035. I mean, people who were reading the book and feed, giving me feedback and, and some of the crew and some of the staff have read it they've said like this would make an awesome film and it really quite oh, we think it we there think you it go works. peter jackson um, yes. so you published it yourself as well yep. what's involved with that well amazon simple just you, amazon got a thing called create space you just go and submit your book your you know a pdf of the the actual script and they they either accept it or they don't ask you to change things and bang it you're away Wow. They'll okay. make one buck if you want one buck. Well, that's good for inspiring authors. What advice would you give them if they want to do a self-published book like you have? It, it, it's not hard. Believe right. it, it's easier. Just follow the thing on Create Space and they tell you exactly what to do. It really is quite, quite easy. I thought it was quite easy. Okay, would you yeah. say Create Space? Yeah. But you, but a story still... about Mel sitting on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's a you good know? one. Yeah. Um, but you still, you've got to have that good story inside of you yeah, to write absolutely. anyway. Yeah. So what's the story with this one? Is it a one-off book for you? No, it, it's it's probably going to end up as a trilogy. There's definitely more coming. You're going to hobbit this book, aren't you? Uh, I might do. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and the great thing is, is, you know, I love the references to Wanaka, to the Christchurch earthquake, and, you know, and the, the American side of it as well, mm. the bits that I've read. Um, I'm right into this sort of yarn, and I'm pleased that people have been giving you some fantastic feedback, because I think this could be a movie in the future. Yeah, well, that, as people were saying that, you know, Peter Jackson, be good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, nice. when, you, when you need someone to play the newsreader, you know, they always have newsreader in their self stories. <laughs> I pull my hand up right now for that one. Cool. <laughs> nice work. Hey, well, congratulations, Derek. Um, fantastic work. And Derek Lilly's book, Invasion AI, is available to buy through Amazon. For more details, go to the website, invasionai.com.